And finally tonight, if you've just paid out hundreds for a brand new HD surround sound 42 inch flat screen television, you might want to look away now. <laughs> One Millions viewers made the digital switch over with a nine inch set from 1946 and it costs less than 50 quid. Andy Bevan has the story. This is the BBC television station at Alexandra Palace. 1946 and post-war television was on the air, but only in London. There was only one set available, the Pi B16T, cost £42. All very nice for Londoners, but for Midlanders, nothing. Apart from in Fred Farley's radio shop at Witton in North Birmingham. He had the only Pi B16T in the Midlands to receive TV pictures. And this is it, still working 65 years later. So how did he do it? Well, the electronics wizard built his own amplifier and managed to pick up the Ali Pali transmitter from 132 miles away. His son Steve, who arrived six years later, takes up the story. This famous little set was put on in the shop window and, and regularly gathered crowds in Whitton Road uh, for people um, clamouring to see this, this new technology. It would be another ten years before commercial television arrived in the Midlands, with ATV broadcasting from the Hints transmitter near Tamworth. ATV's local news was called Midlands Montage, and one edition featured an 11-year-old Stephen Farley, who was already following in his dad's footsteps. He eventually took over the business, repairing but also collecting more and more TVs. But even though technology was racing ahead, the little valve-driven pie kept on going. These days, every TV comes with a remote control. But back in 1946, of course, they weren't invented. If you wanted to make any changes to the picture, you had to get out of your seat and come right up to the set itself. Right now, the ITV Central Region is halfway through the digital switchover, but even that is no obstacle for this super telly. Steve has added a box of tricks and a Freeview receiver to it, and bingo, programmes from 2011 on a screen from 1946. However good the television is, you can't do much about the content of the programme. Um, but, but there you go. There's nothing nicer than watching an old programme on an old telly. So worship your flat screen if you must, but will it still be going in 65 years' time? Doubtful. But perhaps it's the same for TVs as the programmes they show. They just don't make them like they used to. Until then, goodbye, everybody. Andy Bevan, Central Tonight. Now, don't adjust your sets, and this is with apologies to those with state-of-the-art <laughs> HD t televisions, but Stephen is watching tonight, and just for all of you, this is what it looks like for him. <laughs> Stephen, I'm, I'm not being funny. I love that you set, but you really need to upgrade. Uh, yes, <laughs> listen, just to bring us sharply back into colour, just quickly take a look at this football team's kit. They're an under-eight side, Smith's Woods in Birmingham, and if you look at the logo on the front, they are sponsored by no less than ITV Central. Have a good season, lads. And a nice weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.